The uh, special novelty, uh, very, very new element of this timepiece is the three-dimensional globe, which we have here. Which you can see it rotates in real time. It's viewed from the North Pole. And we have uh, the sapphire lateral window, which allows a view all the way down to uh, the southern hemisphere. The globe, as we said, rotating anti-clockwise in real time enables us to get a, an instantaneous idea of the time across different regions and continents of the world. We don't immediately wish with this timepiece to, to give a precise time in a specific city because as we know the time zones around the world they're not cut like segments of an orange, they're all rather irregular. So, but uh, to complete the information, when we turn over the timepiece on the movement side, we have the 24 hour sapphire disk here. This is uh, with the 24 of the different time zones, 24 hourly uh, time zone divisions. And that enables us to uh, also to set the timepiece uh, very quickly here to, with a precise manner. And then also for traveling, so we might be in a particular region and we're going to travel to another continent so we can read off straight away on the sapphire disk how many hours difference in time there will be. And then turning over back to the display side uh, using the pusher, the GMT pusher at 11 o'clock here, we are able to uh, modify the, small, the smaller sub-dial of the second time zone uh, for our destination uh, region uh, and time zone. The main hour and minute dial here is completed with small seconds dial, power reserve, 72 hour power reserve of course, and a 24 second tourbillon uh, system here. Towards 5 o'clock on the case. An unusual and new asymmetrical uh, trisymmetry to the case. This helps to give us a rather more interesting uh, interrogation around the timepiece to lodge the globe of course to a maximum diameter in the in the case of the timepiece and then again coming to the to the movement side completing the sapphire crystal hour and uh, cities indication we have the possibility to read on the outside uh, what used to be called GMT, more recently known as UTC perhaps, but this is uh, what we call for uh, the Northern Hemisphere areas with uh, winter time, summer time, daylight saving time. Uh, this is our winter time reference around the outside. And then for the cities with a light background, these are those uh, cities with a summer time uh, difference. And then we can read off in the center plus one hour uh, for the uh, period of the year when we have summertime. So that leaves us with the cities with the dark background. These don't have daylight saving time. And so this gives us uh, a very, very good uh, reference uh, point for uh, traveling with your GMT timepiece.